Hi everyone, welcome to Art Club. Today we're going to make this little fella. So it's made out of air dry clay. Uh, it's got fl fluorescent orange paint on. Extra things you're gonna need are a pot of water, um, some slip, which is if you get a piece of your clay off supplied, mix it with water and make it into this sludgy stuff and then it will end up being like glue. So when I talk about scratch and slip, that's what I mean. So you scratch the clay and then you use that as your glue. Probably useful to have a ruler. You'll need to make the first ball. It's gonna be two balls. One that's about five centimeters wide. Okay, and then the other one is the smaller one. Um, you're also going to need a wet flannel or tea towel to just lay over your clay so it doesn't get dried out too quickly. And a piece of cardboard or a mat. And so, first of all, you get your foil, which I've supplied. You break it up into a ball. Uh, I think that's I think it's about five centimeters big. It doesn't have to be perfect, just roughly. Okay, so now I'm going to, with the bigger one, break that in half, like that, roughly. And we're going to make it into a, kind of like a little hat, I suppose. So you just keep pinching it. It's about half a centimetre thick. So it's called a pinch pot really, but basically you're making a little hat and it doesn't have to be very good. And do that for the other one. Is your foil is gonna go inside your two pieces. Okay. Because then if this is quite round. You can put it in one but one like this. Put the other one over. Squish them together and then push all the clay together so that you make a nice ball shape. Right, so if you keep doing that with your hands. You can roll it on your mat as well. So after a little bit of rolling on the mat, it's gonna look like a nice smooth ball. Well, pumpkin is more of a squashed ball. So just lay it on the mat and push down on it with your hands so that it looks more like a pumpkin shape, a bit like a satsuma. Okay. So with your squashed pumpkin shape, we're now going to, with your tool that I supplied, do a line across. If you dip it in water, it helps to, it's a bit smoother. So do one like that, turn it round, and then do the other way. Okay, and then do that all over. Then halfway, you're gonna divide it up like a pizza. So now we're like that, dip your finger in the water and well, you just want to make those grooves a bit deeper. The bottom doesn't really matter because no one's seen the bottom. So as long as the top looks nice. Okay, so make them a bit deeper all the way around. Yeah. 
Right, dip your finger in and then just smooth that over to make that shape. Okay, so next we're going to um, shape your, the pumpkin eyes, nose and mouth. So just pick your nicest side. I think that's all right. And I'm going to then put the eyes Make a triangle shape with your tool. Okay, so then you want to try and pick them out. It can be a bit tricky. Right, so then spend a little bit of time making it all look a bit neater. So you could, I think I'm going to add, put some slip inside where, because we don't really want to see the tin foil. So just poke some in there. I mean, if, yours, if you've managed to leave a little bit of clay in, then that's good. But I didn't, so... Right, so you've got it looking quite nice. And with the remaining clay that we've picked out of the eyes, just scrape it all into one ball so it doesn't dry out. And what we can do is make some eyeballs. So obviously they've got to fit inside that triangle shape. So Roll it in your hand and then just think, all right, is that big enough? Yeah, that's big enough. And then you've got to make the other one the same size. And keep your other clay under the damp flannel. Right, okay, so they're about the same. That's good. All you need to do is plonk them in. A little push okay that's okay and then with one of your tools you should have a point on and you can make your eyeball just push it right in push it in twist it around a bit that's okay and next we're going to make the stalk so with your spare clay Roll it in your hands and decide what size you want to make it so it needs to be flat because it's going to stick on there. That might be a bit tall. Just break that off. Push it into your pointy shape. Right, so what I did then was with this tool, with your pointy tool, is drag some lines up Ooh, that one up can you 
drag that up there. So it kind of looks like this. Then we kind of gently twist it. Oh, it's not worked out too great actually. Anyway, so that's the shape. What I'm going to do then is go wet, wet your towel in your, in your water and then drag those lines round. a spiral shape so now this is the flat bit that's going to stick on the pumpkin and what we need to do is with the scratchy tool is this is scratch and slip I've been I spoke about so you do that um, so either you can just wet your finger that's probably enough and then you scratch the top of your pumpkin again wet it like that and that should be enough to make it stick quite well choose the best part of your stalk and put that at the front and give it a little wiggle down Okay, so that's still a little bit wet. I made it too wet, so I'm just going to leave it alone for a minute because when it's too wet, you can't really work with it. Right, so that's the stalk part. Um, and then the next, I'm going to make some arms, about five centimetres long. And get your ruler. And obviously, it's meant to be a pumpkin, so it doesn't have to look brilliant. That's more or less long enough. Um, and then, so you flatten out one end, because that's going to be the hand. Um, so if you do it that sort of shape, that's the start of the fingers. Um, what I'm going to do now is cut a thumb, and he's only going to have three fingers. But then obviously you need to try and make them look nice. So you need to spend a few minutes trying to make them look nice. So I've made two hands. And now we've got to make the hole in the, holes in the sides uh, for them to go into. So, um, okay. It about there. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of water in that hole. Stick your arm in, give it a little wiggle, and then you can start to cover that over. Okay, so we've got both arms on. You can wiggle them about how you like. Um, and then it's about making your feet. So the, with the clay you've got left, divide it in half. And then try and decide how you're gonna, what you're gonna do with the feet. Now, so just knead it and pull it about into a rectangle shape, roughly. And then you can start to see, right, okay, that can be the big toe. Um, so with your tool, cut it. Now you could just have three toes, or we could have four. Up to you. Um, or we could just be wearing shoes if you don't want to bother doing toes. Um, so again, you need to spend a little bit of time making them look a bit more toe-like. Okay, so you've got your left and your right foot. 
Okay, let's do the scratch and slip that I talk about. Scratch. And just wet them a bit. Push the two feet together. Like that. Should be fine. Okay. And you want what I wanted them was to I want the pumpkin to tilt upwards a bit. So I'm gonna make it so that the feet so they, it, they're thinner at the back, like that. So then, scratch. And then on the bottom, do the scratching as well. Make sure it's a bit wet. So that when we put that in position, because it's nice that the pumpkin is l looking up at you from the table. So he's like that. So I'll give it a wiggle and a squash. And now that should be done for now to pick it up. It might be a little bit tricky. Get your fingers under. Um, turn him upside down. So carefully hold it without breaking his arms off and the stalk and then smooth down the feet right so we're done and, and just don't put it back on the wet bit because it will just stick down again now he's pretty much done um, what I did was to scrape if you have a look at this one I scraped some little lines in the pumpkin flesh to make it look a bit creepy so um, you can do that I mean this stalk I think needs to be a bit more bent makes it look cute like hair um, and then with your sharpest bit of one of the tools then you can start dragging down some little lines like that And then obviously turn him around and do the back as well. well I think we're done. I right, put him on the cardboard. Um, you don't need to cover it or anything. Just leave him to dry out. Um, but it might be a couple of days. It goes pale grey. And at that point then we can paint it. So we have a dry pumpkin now. He's pale grey. And you can see on the thick bits it's really hard. And if you tap it, you can hear that it's dry. So with your one of your sponges, we're going to paint him all over in the dark brown. So he's brown all over. I had to get the paintbrush to get inside the holes of his eyes and in any little crevices that you couldn't get your sponge okay so um, leave him to dry probably for only about five minutes he's still a little bit wet but that's only in the recesses um, so that doesn't really matter now with one of your other sponges dip it in the white because the idea of the, doing the dark brown is that gets in all the shadows and now we're going to create all the highlights with the white So just a little bit of paint on your sponge and dab all over without getting in the crevices because they want to stay dark brown. So just keep wiping the white paint off so that you are just getting it on like that. And do that all over. So he's white all over now. So then keep all the dark bits 
in the shadows, keep them black so that you know it looks quite cool like that. Um, and now we're going to do the orange on top. Um, again, just maybe if you if you want to start on the back, that's a good idea, just to so you get used to it. Again, don't have too much on your sponge and just pat the colour on on top of the white. The white obviously gives the orange, it's a fluorescent paint anyway, but it just gives it that lift to make it look nice and bright. So it's going to look like that all over. So he's all orange now. Um, let him dry five minutes and then get your paintbrush with the dark brown black colour doing a little bit more detail. So, you know, in the eyes, you can do some more cracks going up. Just make it look a bit more spooky. If you want to. In the eye area, so do little lines going up. Um, I think I made these eyeballs a little bit big. They don't look as scary as the other pumpkin. So you could sort of paint around it a bit. Um, you know, if you muck things up, don't worry about it. You can always paint over it again. But, you know, I think that's that eye is now looking a bit more scary. And a bit more pumpkin-like, because it's got these extra little bits of cracks in. Really makes a difference, I think. Um... Okay, so just, and then all around the nose, just go with your paintbrush around the mouth, get the cracks of the, of the mouth going upwards. So just spend a little bit of time with your paintbrush and the black brown colour, and then we'll do the next bit. So I finished with the dark brown. Um, don't put water with it because otherwise it makes it too runny. So just keep it as it is and then use a dry brush to do all this, all these shadows. Um, and then I mucked up, you know, I missed, I went over the eyes. So I'm just going to, you can always just touch in the eyes or whatever you've mucked up. Don't get too stressed. Um, I quite like it, just all orange. Because um, I did this one, the first one, with a brown stalk and brown shape. So if you want to do the same, you could mix the dark brown with a bit of the orange and that will make it a lighter brown. And then you can paint the stalk. So anyway, that's the end of the tutorial. I hope you've come up with something good. If you do and you're really happy, um, you can always put it on Instagram and tag me, Jill Busby Art. I'd love to see your creations. Okay, thank you.